Who do you think I am, Sega? What the hell is the matter with you? I don't understand what... Uh, welcome back to New Sakura Wars. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester. It is now time for the Combat Review World Games! Combat reviews from all over the world come together to partake in some Olympic bullshit. First up is the Shanghai Combat Review, and man, these, these fucking guys... Like, why, aren't, like, why aren't why aren't we him? He's obviously so much more capable and so much better. So why don't we just make him the protagonist? Maybe it's because we need a rival foil to our you know straight laced good guy protagonist. He's not a rival. He's he's actively seeking our destruction. <laughs> he oh. constantly puts us down. Well, it's possible he does it a, a little bit too violently. Maybe he's pulling more of a blue from Pokemon vibe from that. But, you know, blue eventually, like, kind of grew up. So we are basically watching everybody flocking to Tokyo. All the combat reviews coming in to start off Chapter 3. The Festival of Peace! Peace, guys! Bullshit. This has got so much peace written all over it. It's a peaceful festival. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. Uh, I foresee a bunch of fights, especially with the Chinese combat review. You know, demons are actively attacking the world, but it's peace, guys. Peace. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, UDJ, what episode number is this? Uh, 11. Oh... You said number 11! Fuck. <laughs> wow! Spongebob went in a very different route. So here is also where the game just <laughs> smashes all these other characters in. No and just shoehorns way. them in. No here way. is the London Combat Review. <laughs> Arthur and Lancelot! Wow! Are we playing Fate Stay Night? This is great! I feel like we stumbled into an entirely different game. Like, what's that? Trails of Cold Steel or Legend of the Legendary Heroes or something? <laughs> uh, Trails of Cold Steel has a much better pedigree than this guy. I have no... I don't know anything about Trails of Cold Steel. Uh, let's just say people are glad that Trails of Cold Steel 4 is coming out and nobody realized that New Soccer Wars came out, so... If that tells you anything. Oh. Hmm. That, 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 that will explain a few things. Is it bad to think that, you know, the British combat review just has Arthurian characters in it? Like, are we, are we delving into actual Arthurian knowledge here? Nah, it's just they're British, so Arthur's. Yeah. Y yeah, that's what I thought. I bet there's another girl named Merlin in there somewhere. <laughs> no, she's the commanding officer. <laughs> they have a nudist called Lady of the Lake. <laughs> Well, they're gonna be kind of tough to fight. And then, the reigning champs! Alright, let's see. They look... normal. What combat they're, reviewer is this one? They're looking for a triple win! The Berlin Combat Review! Oh! German. They just, they just will not stop sucking off all of these other combat reviews. Wow, look at all these other teams that are far superior to us. Yeah, and then they get to our combat review. <laughs> because we're also here. A bunch of anime tropes. <laughs> we're the anime combat review. I feel like the priorities of this game are really, really skewed. A little bit. 
So you they know, had this big glowing you know, uh, introduction to all these other combat reviews, and then when they get to us, they should be here in a little bit when they, well, oh boy! So this is where the trust comes in. If you raise trust big enough, you can use a team attack. Ooh. We'll get to that a little later when we get to the combat. But, hey guys, let's give it our best shot. It's all we can do. Yeah! I mean, who needs money when you got talent? And who needs talent when you've got us? So if we lose, you'll be you'll just be dissolved, and you guys will probably be homeless. But I'll probably get moved to another uh, p place in the military. So uh, I'm good. Oh, thanks, Kamiyama. The pep talk we all needed. As long as I'm okay, you'll all be okay too. <laughs> exactly. All right, here we go. Huh? Hey, there we go. We're unknown. You seen me? I'm a dual sword wielding maniac. And that was it. They made us seem like chumps. What is this bad advertising? You know, I feel like I'm back in the 90s again. I feel like the game is just insulting me for insulting me's sake now. It's like, what a ragtime bunch of crap heads! You're- you're doomed! You shouldn't even try! You're gonna embarrass yourselves! And... and... We're all really getting up in arms about this. And here we have the Imperial Combat Review, aka the punching bag of the combat review games. Well, whatever. They're doing this just to make it so that way when we actually do inevitably win, it'll be all the sweeter. Mm-hmm. So we can rub it in their stupid fucking dumbass arrogant faces in their own shit! Kamiyama, Kamiyama, calm down. <clears throat> it's okay. You know, I kind of want just the, the sleeper character. Like, I want to see Anastasia just out of nowhere be combative as hell. Just never likes to lose. Constantly going for the win, absolute cutthroat when she gets into the arena. That would be hilarious to me. Oh, but they frown upon that kind of shit. If you if you like get really really you know impassioned about something, they go, "Whoa, that's a little much." Do 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 do. Do you really have to go that far? I mean, really? <laughs> Fucking cut their heads off. And I so I say, well, you know, our team synergy will get us going. Yeah, all right. This will be this will be good. You know, it's really gonna be me, but I'll say it's, it's our team. That's how we're gonna get to victory. And she's like, oh, really? How cliched. What? <laughs> Fine, you all stay here. I'll go win it myself. <laughs> oh, uh, Imperial Combat Review, party of one. This is my Imperial Combat Review. I give it a 5 out of 10. I mean, I think we're gonna- we're gonna lose to the Berlin team if they stare us to death. So I made it made it sound like we're actually gonna be doing some fighting today. Um, is, this, is this like all cutscenes? We're not gonna be doing any fighting for a while, actually. Son of a bitch! Well, I guess that's okay. Like... I think we're gonna start doing some actual fighting... Oh, three episodes from now. Holy shit! Yeah. So this is all set up and introductions, yes? Set up, introduction, you guys can't do it! You guys can't do this! Blah, 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 fucking kill me, and also build up a little bit of trust for the, uh... Oh, fight. good. I, I actually can't wait to meet the new combat reviews. They seem like interesting people. So for whatever fucking reason, we're back here. We're back here. 
at Shanghai's stupid fucking restaurant with the orgasmically galaxy-destroying delicious taste of his fried rice. But, because we did it with Claris last time, the game's like, oh, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 whoa, whoa, hang on. Now we gotta do it with Sakura. Because I can't have just one thing with one character, Sakura has to butt in on fucking everything. But, but the fried rice, dude. I'm gonna give this guy some shit, you know? Xiao Long is a scary one. Because he was actively trying to destroy you a few days ago. Yeah, a real hard ass. That's, like, the softball throw. Yeah, oh, hard ass, that's harsh. HARSH! He nearly killed you! You forget what he was trying to do to you! <laughs> and now Yui's mad at me because I said hard ass, so... I mean, wouldn't you want that as... Like, if you're gonna be the bad boy of the Chinese combat review, might as well take that as a compliment. But no, it's, it's gotta be, like... We still gotta be friendly with them. We, we, you know, oh, we're gonna go to the restaurant even though they try to kill us and are actively seeking our dissolution and don't care about us and would rather see us die than help. You know, yeah, okay. Wh why? I don't... Because we're the good guys, and that means we need to be friendly with everyone. But let me let you in on a little secret, Soccer Wars. If somebody's actively trying to kill you, chances are they can't be converted. This is why I like playing, you know, aloof, sarcastic characters. Because I know that he would just take the piss out of everything. Oh hey, that's a reused clip, because they don't have a specific girl in the frame. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, no, no, I, no, 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 you're half right. This is a, this is a reused clip, but now, he serves the rice the exact same fashion that he did to us earlier. Except instead of Claris, we now have Sakura. Because we can't have anything to ourselves, we have to share it with this terrible, terrible person. You know, avert my expectations and have Sakura just hate it. God, that'd be funny. What are you talking about? Why would he hate it? He's the burning chef, man. Everything he touches turns to culinary gold. Seriously, if you just threw me a curveball of soccer just like spitting it out at Yui's face, it would be hilarious. No, it's just the same shit. It's the same joke. It's the same fucking joke, except now we have Sakura. You're wasting my time. <laughs> well, I mean, if you need to pad out a chapter, why not just reuse assets? I mean, we're not even really doing anything. We're, we're not furthering the plot in any way. I'm not getting any points with anybody. Not really. It's just... Why are we here? I'm gonna look up different anime characters based on what we saw for the combat review. I don't think there has been a female Lancelot yet. Sure there has. Well, wow. Blaze the cat. Oh, no, I, I meant like... No. Why'd you have to remind me that Sonic of the Black Knight exists? Yeah, I think I have yeah. Anime King Arthur, that's gonna be... The main character of Fate Stay Night. Do, don't we have no money? But we can afford this lavish, delicious Chinese food. I, I mean, mean, and now the rest of the combat review is gonna have to go without pay for a month. Is it on the house? Like, would would they pay for it even though we're so much weaker and they and they look down on us? I mean, this is just them looking even more down on us. They they got. <sighs> They're You're assholes. our guests, <laughs> even though we hate you. You're assholes and you make good food. God, this is a lose lose situation for the Imperial Combat Review. Uh, sounds like somebody needs to take Mr. Mouse into Mr. Kitchen and invite Mr. Health Inspector over. <laughs> <laughs> A mission update. Sabotage the Chinese combat review. <laughs> you see, this is, this is warfare, Xiaolong. 
You think you, you you think you're gonna destroy me? Oh no way! No way! Oh, no. I will destroy you. I will destroy you. Yes, take him down. Cast him into the fire. Destroy him. Put like a door stopper on their fridge, so the next day everything's all <laughs> melted and molded. Just casually crack the fridge so everything spoils it. <laughs> So, what we're doing is we're going around introducing ourselves to the other combat reviews. Okay. Of course, with Sakura in tow, because she has to follow us for fucking everything. Okay, well, let's... let's see, I'm bored already. Saber, that's her name. That's King Arthur in Fate Stay Night, that's right. Oh, and there's a different Saber, but called Lancelot in Fate Grand Order. Okay. I'm not even oh. gonna touch fate. It's just... oh right, it's the it's the class, not the character's name, the class. So, because this is cliched anime 101, mm -hmm. <sighs> is this the German combat review? Nope, this is London. Oh okay. Fight me, Lancelot. You're right. Yes, fight me. Don't know why she would fight her when I'm the guy who has two swords. But she's gotta do everything, I guess. Like, we pull- like, we have Sakura so much, it might as well just be a fucking Otome game and we play as her. Oh, it was like it's I already like Lancelot. She wants to kill the main squeeze. You unprofessional swine. <laughs> I love how Arthur wasn't even looking at Lancelot. <laughs> He's just thinking, if I put my arm out and say something, Lancelot's gotta listen to it. So, once again, another character attacks us out of the blue, wishing to deal us bodily harm. So you know what we have to do? Not reprimand her, not report her to the authorities. We're gonna befriend her. We're friends. They still hate us, they still want to see us lose and die, but we're gonna be friends now. God. <laughs> Can you please wa walk up to uh, Arthur there and say, Dude, bitches, am I right? <laughs> just, I just want Kamiyama to be a dickhead. I don't know. I know, he's, t he's too much of a <laughs> fucking... He he's a wet noodle! He's <laughs> flip-flopping everywhere! Flipping and flopping everywhere. No spine! What's your real name, Lancelot? Uh, uh, Margaret. Hey, that's a cute name. Margaret the Black Knight instills fear into all who oppose her. Actually, I want to fight a bit longer, because even though I... This isn't the time or the place! Look at where you are! You're in a hotel! Like... Why? It's like, why is every character an arrogant pile of shit? Aren't the combat reviews supposed to be about, like, unity and fighting evil? Yes, they are! And yet... Like, 95% of the characters in this game are terribly written! What? Like, can you imagine if fucking Subaru was here and she saw this shit? <laughs> She would give them a verbal lashing, not get angry, but just a verbal lashing that would leave them defeated because of the words she used. There would and then Sajita would yell at them. There would be nothing left. Just, like, just removed limbs, nothing left. Sup, Arthur? At least Arthur's got a bit of a calm head, he's just kind of there. Lancelot 
She means well, even though she almost killed you. <laughs> God. Seriously, what happened to reprimanding? Why are we all nice to people who <laughs> apparently have murderous intent? You remember I mean, when we first met and I tried to stab you all those times? <laughs> Wait a minute, does, does that mean they do this to like every guest? Does every combat review play like a record skipping? I Every think be I think because they're so terrified of alienating potential fans of whatever character that they're that they're you know arguing with, we gotta be friends with them. Otherwise, people will be like, "No way! You would use my waifu! Why are you? Why are we mean to her? I hate this game!" But instead, you try to appeal to everybody, and then you appeal to nobody because this game's crap. And it's sold like crap. It reviewed like crap. It's crap. You know what would be the ultimate backstab is if you could actually. In in a different game in a different universe, let's say you're able to, like, woo the other girls in the other combat reviews. That would be the ultimate backstab, and then you could recruit them. Pull a three houses. We haven't even gotten that far in the ultimate backstab yet. Damn it! Alright, so it does get worse. Because there is an ultimate backstab coming. Okay. Does it happen when we go visit the German combat review? It happens towards the end of the game. Gotcha. It's just gonna keep hurting and keep hurting. Well, we seem to have equal amounts of venting sessions these days, so... Let's try our best to get through our two bad games of 2021, and then we can move on to much better things. I do have better things planned after this. Me too! Like, like Soccer Wars 5, yeah. yeah right? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! We're still on the same wavelength years later. <laughs> when the hell did we start Soccer Wars? Can I find uh, those notes? I've got them uh, somewhere. Probably like 2018 or something. Oh, it has to be. L let me. But let me but start it, looking. It was like towards the end of 2018, and then yeah, schedule, yeah, yeah, yeah. schedules changed, other oh, yeah. projects came in, this one fell by the wayside as the other ones took more time, and then then I, there was like a big rush towards you know, the end of the hiatus, and then the world caught on fire, and well. Oh well, yeah, it, it has a tendency to do that. September 20th of 2018 is when episode yeah. one released. Mm -hmm. Woo! Like, I'm sorry, aren't there four other characters in this game? I want to talk to them. Instead, they're always like, Oh, Miss Sakura, oh, Miss Sakura, Sakura's right. Why can't it be like, Oh, Claris is very well read. I didn't expect her to know all that she, all that she did. Or, that Azami Mochizuki. She is quite strong, quite formidable, but I see that she is holding back. That, or she has not unlocked her true potential yet. Hey, look at that! I'm, I'm creating good characters. I'm, I'm, I'm just creating some minor intrigue with a couple of lines of dialogue. Go figure! But instead, they're like, oh, wow, Sakura Amamea, she's really strong with that sword, isn't she? She's really great and wonderful, and I love her so much. Wow! She is the she is the one driving force that unites us all together. She will unite the country! Full tilt. That is full tilt, UDJ, and I am all about it. I just find it hilarious that Lancelot was just like, oh, yeah, she made me wield my second blade. She knows how to take advantage of an opening. <laughs> That's not different. She's not special. Show me Berlin. She, she's one of those Dark Souls players that's like, Aha! You made me use an Estus! Well fought! <laughs> well played, sir! <laughs> oh, but, but that seems like the person who has beaten Dark Souls with a Guitar Hero guitar, so, you know, let him have it, I guess. You've come a long way! No, she hasn't! Oh, you demon gotta be attack. Kidding. Yeah. Really? Yeah, just in, in, in the streets. Do we have time for these Olympic Games if this shit keeps happening? By the way, here's Berlin. Oh, thank God. Show me my German girls. The reigning champs. Good. 
Let's girls un panzer this shit. Fucking what? <laughs> you talking about the gameplay or what I just said? What you just said. I literally typed in German tank anime and girls in panzer showed up. Uh. It is literally an a anime girls in tanks. Meanwhile, in Valkyria Chronicles... Hell yeah, I'd rather be playing that. Why is one of them a 12-year-old girl? Because tropes. That's all this game is. You got nothing to connect the trope. It's, it's just a pile of tropes. Nothing to cement them together. Nothing to make any kind of structure. Good lord, they're short. Like, nothing against short girls, but... We're gargantuan, and Japanese people aren't exactly that tall either. Margaret? I hate her. Why, because she speaks German? Because all these combat reviews boil down to superior officer who's just kind of there, and arrogant, mean-spirited, shitty follower <laughs> oh, God. Who, says that we ha who says that we're doomed. But you we know? still gotta treat as friends because we might offend some incel who really, really is attracted to the pigtailed twelve-year-old. You, you know, this actually makes sense that this was made between the years of 2016 and 2020, because in that four-year period, everybody hates one another. So it makes sense that everybody hates everyone here. But we gotta be friends with them! We gotta show unity! I mean, everyone's happy now. Let's all be friends. So Hatsuho has a scene. Her scene is, Hey guys, Sumire wants to see you in her office. Oh, come on. Give Best Girl more time. Where's Claris? Where's Azami? Where's Anastasia? The new girl. Where are they at? No, it's always fucking Sakura. Always fucking Sakura. Well, now it's Elise. I can't even choose. What's up, Blondie? <laughs> It gives you options of the wrong names! Oh man, we... <laughs> please! Next time they give you that option, please give the wrong name. No... See, I'm trying to play as straightforward as I can. Just, just, just... Because of the stupid traps they set for me. What I think is a reasonable sounding decision, they misconstrue into something stupid. See, it seemed like one of the options was Gardenia, and I think that's a gym leader from Pokemon Black and White. So, does this mean Berlin was ready and waiting for a demon attack? That's how they were able to mobilize so quickly? They mobilize really quickly, and they, it's never explained. It's just, look, demons! Oh no! Wait a minute! Who's that? And they come in right in the nick of time. Hey, look! Respect! Hey, look! Brown nosing! <laughs> Is she growing? <laughs> I, I think it was just weird camera work. <laughs> it, it, it totally was, but hey, if this girl started getting taller, I'd be like, oh, what? Wow, we're having exposition here now at this time of day? Yes. Yes, Sega. Yes, Sega. Please tell us about Sumire's past exploits. <laughs> I would love to hear about Sumire's past exploits. Please, won't you tell us them? We here in the West really want to know. And cut to black. Yeah, we're never going to hear it. <laughs> that was a call for Sakura Wars 1 through 5 in a, in a compilation of sorts. Are you kidding? And now Shallon wants to talk to us in the fucking parlor. But... But of course, there are still some bromides that we need to get. Oh, good. Hey, uh, you're DJ. Yeah. How did he get our phone number? Who cares? But finally, after half an hour, we can move. Oh, good. Let's go uh, get some pictures of pretty girls. All right. Nope, we gotta head to the parlor straight away. Fuck! <laughs> 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 All right, go to the parlor. Go see the guy who hates us. 
and I can't even go down the hallway. I have to, I have to go straight there. Jesus. So I ask, why even give me fucking control if you're just going to lead me right to the fucking parlor? What's up? Ah! Uh, wrong name. Wrong name. Wrong name. A girl who was with Ali. Daisy the so Delivery Dame? What? Oh, we actually do have a Margaret or Margareth. Like, I want to be the kind of guy that's going, Oh, you seem to be lost. Where's your mother, little one? Condescending as fuck. Here, I'll take you to the manager's office so we can find your parents. Oh, she does speak Japanese. But even the but she's just gonna... She's gonna put down our stage, she's gonna put down our acting, she's gonna put down everything. She's going to just completely... Utterly... 100%... Just... Beat us down with words. Hello, player. Would you like to... <laughs> Would you like to feel like an absolute piece of dirt while playing a game about waifus? Glory days are long behind you, you're a third-rate outfit. Play New Soccer Wars, where everybody hates you. And you know it, too. Like, zero percent. Zero percent? Really? Zero percent. Only a fucking bully, or an idiot, would use a term like zero percent. Nothing is absolute. I mean, the, us winning is not a 0% chance. It's, it's, it's very low. It's probably not even 1%, but it is not 0%, you stupid bitch. Hey, just wanted to let you know you're going to lose. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. Uh, this is a private area for staff only. You're going to have to wait in the waiting room like everybody else. I don't think Kamiyama even has that type of, like, command over other people. Like, he tries, but they just step all over him, because he's a big old wuss. So we're the ones protecting Tokyo now! Maybe Shanghai should go back to Shanghai and Berlin go back to Berlin! Almost sounding kind of imperialistic when that. Like, why are you guys hanging around here? I've, I've got the team now! We are good! Just keep your mouth shut and let the pros handle the heavy lifting?! I got an idea! How about I give you another bandage on the other side of your cheek? And then we just go back to regular conversation. No argument to that? No argument! It's just... Uh, anyway. It, come on, defend your troop. But he's a wuss! He's a spineless coward! Like, you, you you can't have it both ways where they're antagonistic to us and friendly to us. You can't have that. It's really inconsistent. And then you get people like me angry. You know what I think would be a fun twist to these special games or whatever? If the past competitors from the different reviews actually died during the games, and that's why we only have, like, annoying bastards they know that they're probably going to lose people in their combat review. <sighs> Thinking way too hard about this, man. Hey, I'm trying to give you a break, because it seems like you're about to pop a blood vessel. I probably already have. <laughs> oh yeah, go find Yui while you're at it. <laughs> She's here too, and you should see her off, because you're friends with her now too. Even though she's done nothing but berate you, belittle you, insult your teammates, and call you a pervert several times. But yeah, you're friends with her, right? <laughs> About as friendly as I am with everyone else. <laughs> oh my god, check the mirror. Do you see any blood in your eyeballs? Oh, uh, there's a tete-a-tete -tete event over there with Claris. Yes! Oh. Do it, buddy! You know oh you want to! Oh, there's so many exclamation marks. Damn it. Ugh. Yes! Time to go see some lovelies. Yeah, we're going to save that for next time on New Soccer Wars. I don't I think to... you're going to survive till the end, dude. I, I, I need <laughs> I really to have an herbal don't. tea. I'm just going to sit in the corner. <laughs> I'm going to look out the window wistfully for a while. And when we come back, maybe I'll calm down a little bit. 
I'm gonna sit in the corner like the big dunce cap that I am. See you next time.